Hey guys, we're back with you. Hope you had a great day yesterday after watching the video on sugar and calcium. Hope you learned lots. Today we're going to be talking about specifically what sugar does to enabling you to gain weight faster. Let's just put it that way. Okay, so how does sugar make you fat? We'll just, we'll say that. Well, it comes down to, um, I'm going to make it, I'm going to, I'm going to kind of simplify this for you. When you eat sugar, okay, so refined sugar, sucrose, high fructose corn syrup, it literally spikes your blood sugar, okay? So there's two things that happen actually. So there's a certain amount of that sugar, which is glucose, okay? So the glucose will go right into the bloodstream and it's gonna elevate your sugar, your, because glucose is what is in the blood, okay? So it's gonna elevate your blood glucose, your blood sugar, uh, to a high degree because it's very quickly metabolized. There's no fiber or other minerals to uh, impair its digestion. Okay, so it's gonna go right into the bloodstream. It's gonna spike your uh, blood sugar, and as a result, your body doesn't want high blood sugar. So it, 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 the pancreas is a, an organ inside your, your digestive system, creates and secretes insulin. Okay, so insulin is a hormone that goes out into the blood, and it's gonna take that sugar over to the cells, and it's gonna store it in the cells as muscle glycogen, or in the fat cells as triglycerides, fat, and what have you. So whenever you spike your blood sugar, you increase the insulin response. And whenever your insulin levels are high, insulin is an anabolic hormone, which means that it builds, okay? So whenever insulin levels are high, you are going to be storing more energy in carbohydrates and fat stores, okay? So that's something very important to understand. When your body has reached the surplus of what it can store within its glycogen stores, which is the start, uh, stored carbohydrates in the muscles and the liver, it will start converting all of that into the fat stores. So if you're not exercising at all, or if your muscles are already full of carbohydrates, which in most cases they are, that extra sugar is gonna be going right into the fat cells and stored in them, okay? So your fat cells don't necessarily multiply after a certain age, but they do grow in size. It's almost like a balloon when you're kind of blowing air into a balloon. They'll just keep expanding and expanding and expanding, okay? So that's the first big problem with sugar, is that the glucose part of it is not buffered to slow down its metabolism, so it's gonna spike your blood sugar. And this is the same thing that's gonna happen with refined products, okay? With refined bread, uh, pastries, anything that's kind of, you know, high in sugar. Now, because we mentioned in the last video that sucrose, the sugar molecule, table sugar, which is sucrose, is half, sucro, uh, half fructose, half glucose, okay? Now, the fructose molecule cannot be used in the body unless it's metabolized by the liver first. So fructose needs to go to the liver for, to be metabolized properly. Now, I'm not gonna bore you with the whole science about this, but it actually is very important to understand this because it'll, once you understand how this works, you'll be pretty motivated not to ever eat this stuff again, or at least really minimally. Um, essentially what happens with sucrose is that 30% of it, is metabolized as fat, okay? And again, I'm not gonna go into the science about how this happens, but when you eat sucrose, 30% of it's based on a number of different reactions um, and enzyme pathways in the liver, 30% of the resulting product of sucrose will be converted into triglycerides um, to be stored as fat, okay? So that's the biggest, so, you know, if you're having 100 grams of, of sugar, you're looking at 70% of that possibly, you know, can be stored uh, well, as a minimum, very as a very minimum, 30% of it being the sucrose will be stored as fat. Uh, but then all, you have that all, all that glucose, right, which is spiked your insulin. All that insulin is now taking the glucose out of the out of the out of the blood because again, your body doesn't want high blood sugar levels, and that's a very dangerous thing. Okay, and that's why diabetes develops because the body doesn't respond to insulin anymore. Okay, so you have high or hyperglycemia, right, high levels of sugar or glucose in the blood and over time that can lead to diabetic retinopathy which is where your the blood vessels in your eyes are just eroded by sugar same thing happens in the feet where you get diabetic um, neuropathy where the nerves are literally disintegrated because of sugar in the blood okay so there's a lot of bad things when you have high levels of sugar in the blood and that's why insulin is secreted to get rid of it now the good news is that exercise plays the same role as insulin does and we'll talk about exercise in, just let me see, we're going to talk about exercise this week. I can't remember which video, if it's the next one or the one after that. But we will be talking about exercise and the importance of it. 
in respect to sugar and sugar metabolism. All right, so stay tuned for that video. In the meantime, remember, cut down on your sugar intake. You're going to be a lot better off from all aspects of your health. And I'll see you in the next video tomorrow.